Welcome everyone. A message from your future self is today's timeless pick a card. So what your future self wants to let you know about the future, about the present, whatever comes through. All right, so today we have three options. I'm going to zoom in. Option one on the left with thriving, option two in the middle, taking risks, and option three on the right-hand side, voyage. Voyage? Voyage. But for some reason, voyage came out, so maybe the song Voyage, Voyage, um, the 80s song, could be relevant here. Voyage, voyage, something like that. So maybe that's a sign for some of you to choose pile three, who knows. So. Option one, thriving. Option two, taking risks. And option three, voyage. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps are in the description box. Pause the video if you need more time to choose your pile. See you there. Okay, now welcome. Option one, you guys chose this card. Thriving. African savanna could be significant to some of you. Others of you, I'm seeing the universe, galaxies, astral travel, um, dream states, because, you know, the sky doesn't normally look that color, unless, unless it's an African sunset, but again, it's not that, well, it can be that pink, but maybe not in the savannah, so, and also those pink Pink, um, pink flowers on that tree. If ever, if anyone's from Africa, and if you know a tree in the savanna that has pink flowers, please comment, because I'd love to know. But there's something here about the sky being a different color. And now this is reminding me of the last, of the last phenomena that I witnessed very recently on May 19th. I actually thought it was May 18th because of how late it was. I was picking up my daughter from a party. She's a teenager, so I was outside with other parents and all of a sudden the sky just turned neon blue. And all of a sudden we just saw this thing flying right in front of our faces because it was quite low in the sky. And it was the meteor. It came all the way I think it traversed Italy, Spain, and then Portugal was the last stop where I saw the thing literally defragment in front of my eyes. Um, and it was very low, so it was at the tail end. Uh, maybe a lot of you have seen footage of this girl who has what is considered the best video of the event. It truly was a sight to see, and it was truly a maybe a once in a lifetime, I really wanted to repeat the, um, I wanted to repeat the experience, absolutely. I, I'd have that kind of show every single night because the kind of colors I saw, the neon blue, like coming from such a natural place, um, at least I think it's natural, I, I don't know. Um, and then it turned to green, a neon green, like a very strong neon green. So, that's kind of reminding me of this. Maybe some of you saw that phenomena. Um, and another thing about that is that it, it wasn't scary at all. It was so beautiful that I even remember thinking, you know, if this is how, you know, how they teach us dinosaurs were extinct or whatever, um, then if humans were there, it must have been such a beautiful sight to see that you don't even have time to feel fear. It's just such a beautiful, natural um, show, art show. Um, it's just so beautiful. It, it, there, there's nothing like nature. There is absolutely nothing like nature. There is no painting, no work of art, in my opinion. Um, there are works of art, like this card here, that would take us to a imaginary dreamy world like I know I have all these colors that I like to see in nature and I don't get to see them always we do get to see them in crystals though which is very interesting beneath the earth but it's not often that we see these very very special colors in nature unless 
we're out at, at a certain time in a certain place. Um, but I, you know, a part of me would love to see the world like be like this. <laughs> that's so maybe, maybe that's the kind of person you are. Who knows? Um, it's not that I, I love nature, but I guess it's just my natural tendency to want to create something different or see something different. So that's why I'm so attracted to different phenomena. And what was interesting was that everyone who was with me witnessing that dismissed it for being some sort of fireworks. And I knew it. I just knew inside of me that was definitely not the case. What I saw there was definitely not um, some any kind of firework. It was very, very special. And I did get to see that very special color in the sky that I wish life was more like that, where we could see those colors more often and experience things. Well, I guess it wouldn't be as special, but I, I mean, it could be more, it could be more, it could happen more often. It could. Um, but anyway, um, maybe some of you are in Italy, Spain, Portugal, and you got to see this. If you did, please share in the comments and tell me what your experience was like. Um, but yeah, it really did catch people off guard. It was very quick. It was very special. And so your future self is maybe telling you you're going to witness something like that. Something very beautiful. Um, definitely something unexpected. In this case, it come, it came from, it didn't come, it didn't blindside, it, well, it did blindside me, but it didn't come from left side. It came from the right <laughs> in my angle, in my, where I was standing, facing, um, I think I was facing, facing west or something, and it came from the right. So it came from the north, exactly where, yeah, something like that. I don't know if it changed tra trajectory, but the interesting thing is that it, 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 it did defragment right in front of us. So then people went looking for it, and they couldn't find it, of course, because meteors don't always crash into Earth, right? Which is another misconception. That one definitely was very low, very close, but also like definitely not strong enough or big enough to, to, to crash. So it was, it was so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. Um, and we have the word thriving there. So your future self wants you to know that you will thrive in a very unexpected, surprising, beautiful, magical way. So I don't know what kind of future you guys are um, manifesting, but it will be magical and uh, you'll definitely be thriving. Okay. Uh, there's possibly a trip to Africa in your future that your future self is telling you about. Some of you could be from Africa. Giraffes could be significant. Go look into the giraffe animal totem uh, spirit animal significance. Maybe you dreamt of a giraffe. Maybe you will. Now, the giraffe, with that long neck, they reach to places where most animals don't reach, unless, of course, it's a lioness who can cl climb a tree. But again, um, that would be to rest because there's really nothing there that the lioness would probably want to eat, right? So maybe for shade and um, rest, but not in the same way, right? So there's something unique about you and how you get to things that other people have to do it d differently. Um, it's like you have, you already have access. So I'm thinking you're highly spiritual. You already have access to the higher dimensions by design, right? And there's just something where, there's just something very magical that you're creating in your future. Um, just because you already have that strong connection You've already awakened, ascended, you, you're already very high on the spiritual journey. And um, there's just something that's going to click for you. It's going to be surprising, but it's going to click. It's just going to click, okay? Beautiful. North Node, yeah, because it's destined. You're destined for something. You already have what it takes because it's you're destined for this. Only thing is your future self is coming through to say that you may be struggling with um, believing in yourself, okay? Or believing that you're capable or even believing that you have it in you. But your future self wants you to know that you do have it in you to fulfill your purpose. You have the skills, you have the, 
you have the skills, you have the experience, you have the knowledge, you have the talent, you have the body, you have the resources, you have it all. There's just one ingredient that may be missing at the moment and it's you believing that you can do this. And maybe you, you worry that this is going to be uncomfortable stemming from a little bit of fear that, may, that you may still be holding on to that once you let go of that little bit of fear, my goodness, the sky, you're beyond the limit, like the sky is the limit or beyond that, okay? And again, with head in the sky, um, your future self is coming through to say that you will fulfill your purpose. You will become who you're meant to be. You're now blossoming into who you're meant to be. And right now, things may even be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit weird, a little bit awkward, but also a little bit magical. And the reason why is because you are being aligned and redirected and reoriented so that you can align with your purpose. Right now, what you're going through may be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's because you're going through a learning curve to reach your destiny or to fulfill your destiny. Right now, you're going through a process of development, um, of becoming right now. You're maturing, you're gaining experience so that you can get everything you need to bring this to fruition. Now, maybe you've already discovered what your life purpose is. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you will. Maybe you've already gotten a life purpose report from me. I do life purpose reports based on your natal tropical astrological chart. So if you're interested in that, that may help you um, feel more of a sense of direction, especially if it already resonates and validates what you already know. Express your individuality. Yes, there's something very unique about you. There's something about allowing your true self to shine and realizing that you're awesome for your uniqueness. And you may be stopping yourself out of a little bit of fear, but you know, I feel you're already super high vibrational because look at this giraffe, look at that pink sky. It's like you really believe in miracles. You do believe in the impossible. When it comes to maybe God and nature, the thing is you still doubt how magical you are and you always still maybe worry how accepted you will be for your uniqueness. Now. If you think of it in terms of a scale going up, you're already, I would say, at that point of, let's say fear is down here and love, joy, peace is up here. And after that is authenticity. But if you're up here, joy, peace, and then you go down to fear once in a while, uh, it, it, you're not really going up to authenticity because authenticity is really high more high vibrational than love, peace, and joy is. So once you get there to that high, high vibration of accepting yourself first and foremost and your uniqueness and see the strength in that, once you do that and you stop worrying what other people will think or do or say, that's when you've reached the point where, where you have achieved that sense of fulfillment. It takes a lifetime sometimes, and other people just do it more naturally. What I'm, what your future self is here to say is that you're a lot more closer to that than you, you can fathom right now. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, right now you may be currently in this present moment having struggles with money, very possibly, but not necessarily. This could be just you in feeling like you're not good enough, you don't have enough, you're not ready. Um, or that the universe has forgotten about you and left you out in the cold or God, or you feel left out from something in your life that you want to have because there is a sense of a lack in your mindset currently. I don't, I don't think this is how you always are, but I feel this is a current state that you're going through. Doubting yourself, doubting your abilities. Nine of Swords, this could be making you a little bit anxious, having some sleepless nights very possibly dealing with anxiety, and giving into fear. So your future self is telling you right now you may be giving into fear of fully, truly living your authenticity. And this is also keeping you away from your blessings. It is stopping you from getting all those things, that abundance, that prosperity, that health, those good relationships that you deserve. 
but maybe you think that this is something you can't have for whatever reason. And so Ten of Wands, you're feeling burdened right now. Your future self is coming through to say this would be completely unnecessary should you just change your mindset right now. Practice positive affirmations. Go watch my affirmation meditation to raise your vibration. It's here on the channel. It's free. Do it for seven weeks so you can solidify this high vibration that is already in you. It's already yours by default. But sometimes you tend to go back. Practice that self-love. Ace of Cups. It's an act of self-love to really fill that cup and tell yourself how awesome you are because you are. It says you are awesome. This card literally says, allow your true self to shine because you will shine. Maybe you're worried about a few naysayers, but maybe you're worried about 1% of a population where 99% would be cheering you on. Why are you focused currently on the 1%? The fool it's time to take a risk and take a leap of faith. It will, it will, it will, well, what is the word? It will be worth it in the end. You may feel like a fool doing it. It may feel foolish, but it's an, it's actually, your future self is telling you that it's actually the solution and it's actually an act of self love to be your true authentic self. No matter how foolish you may think, 1% of the population may think you are. Focus on the 99% that would actually support you. What else does your future self have to say about your love life now? And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment, moment fully. Again, this is right underneath express your individuality. So this is telling me that your love life will also improve as a result of you being your true self and shining that true self because the person who is right for you will find you awesome if you are, let's say, single, okay? Now let's say you're in a partnership and maybe it's not going well. Maybe it's because you are not being true and authentic and shining in the way that you are truly. And maybe if you did that, that would be a lot more attractive. Now again, this could also mean that maybe you're not in the right partnership because you're not being authentic, because you're not allowing that true self to shine through. And if you would, the right person would be attracted to you, right? Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and making memories. Okay, reminiscing, keepsake, learning from the past, making memories. This being underneath the five of pentacles, I feel that you there's an overemphasis and see how these two are 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 facing back. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm saying. Those two are facing the past. This one is facing the present, which is the burdens, and that one there, the fool, is facing the future. Right? And she is fa facing the future. That one there is facing the future. And this camera is facing the past. So learn from the past, learn from those memories, but it's your perception of the past that is keeping you in low vibration. And it's also your perception of how the past can influence your future that is holding you back. That's the only thing holding you back right now. Is that there's too much of an emphasis on focusing on the past where you need to clear that past and understand that just because something bad may have happened in the past, it does not mean it will repeat itself in the future. <clears throat> Maybe you experienced a lack of safety in the past for whatever reason, and so this card is coming through to say, in this new beginning, in this future, you and your loved ones are safe. That's it. That's all you need to know. And use this as an affirmation if you struggle believing this. My loved ones and I are always safe. My loved ones and I are always safe. Okay? New Moon and Cancer. There's something about the last week of June that will be very significant in a new beginning here. And I feel your future self is telling you that I feel this is where you will decide to turn things around and start living in the present, looking into the future. 
no longer holding on to anything from the past that may keep you in lower vibration. Because if you are at any time in fear or lower vibration, it's because of past experiences that you keep thinking about, talking about. So if you're having struggles letting go of that, stop talking about it. And then when you find that you're still thinking about it, start substituting it for beautiful possibilities and magical possibilities in the future. Stop recreating the past in your future, basically is what this is saying, but I feel that's what you're going to do. Because you're smart like that. Your, your future self is coming through to say that you are intelligent enough to understand that that's the change you need to make. And you will. And a new beginning and a new future is coming where you will be safe to be yourself, to live in your authenticity, right? And I'm just noticing now this wild pig here. These things can be scary. They normally come out after sun sunset. I know there's a lot of these in the area where I live in Portugal. And they can come out at night and really wreak havoc. I mean, they can really injure a person. They really can. Uh, but this one is walking alongside this fool here, right? And so this means that the thing that you're scared of that will attack you or will do you harm will actually befriend you. So the thing that you're fearing is actually not really going to happen. Okay, option one, that was your reading. Beautiful reading, by the way. Wow, I'm so... This is just wow. Your future self really had some really big things to say. I would love to know how this resonates for you in the comment section. And it was a pleasure to read for all of you. Have a beautiful day and see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, option two, a message from your future self. And you guys chose taking risks. All right. So I'm seeing what looks like the North American desert, kind of um, Sedona, Arizona, places where you can find this kind of landscape. And I'm seeing an eagle. So, gaining a bird's eye view, having a bird's eye view, taking risks, air travel possibly, communication, relocation, travel. Maybe, maybe some of you live in a place like this or you're wanting to visit a place like this. And your future self is telling you that you will. Maybe you're thinking about taking a risk and that's the message your future self is, is here to talk to you about. This risk may involve relocation or travel. You may feel like you need more clarity. Sorry, I just need to open the frame here. You may feel like you need more clarity to take a risk here. Maybe you want to take a calculated risk, which is understandable and feasible. And it may have to do with travel, relocation, something risky, definitely, or you see it as risky. And you want to make sure you're seeing everything from a bird's eye view. You, you want to make sure you're seeing the big picture. And maybe your future self is coming to, to show you something about this big picture. I'm noticing these colors here, the, the, the bright orange, the burnt orange. So this could be a color that would look nice on you or yellow. You could have Venus in Sagittarius, but that's very specific, doesn't have to be, or some Sagittarius placement that is significant. There's definitely a sense here of a long distance in dealing with other cultures, possibly. For some of you, you are or will become teachers in the future, either spiritual teachers, university teachers, or just very, very knowledgeable people. You're the kind of person probably who you could have gone to university, or even if you didn't, people think that you did. You come across as someone who is very knowledgeable. 10th house, reputation, oh wow. You're gonna soar, actually. You have such uh, an intelligence and a bird's eye view and you're so knowledgeable that this is going to take you far when it comes to your reputation and your career. You're gonna go up in that career ladder. You're going to have a lot of achievements when it comes to your career and your reputation. You're someone who is very competent uh, you will become an authority figure. You will leave behind a legacy. You will have an empire. 
you will reach the pinnacle of what you're wanting. Possibly some of you will be famous if that's something you're aiming for. If not, forget about that. But again, there will be also a lot of responsibility. So your future self is asking you, are you ready for the responsibility? And that's it. You have what it takes, but make sure you're ready for the responsibility. Capricorn energy coming through strongly for you. Possibly you may have that strongly in your chart, but doesn't have to be. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. So your future self wants you to know that right now in this moment, you're saying goodbye to something. And this implies and involves taking a risk. Or maybe your future self is telling you that in the future, you will take a risk and you will leave something behind. And this may be a place because I'm seeing possibly travel. And you will have an, an even a new and better part of, of your life in another place or doing something different career-wise. It could even be something online or something in the travel industry, but it's doing something different career-wise and leaving a place or a career behind or a profession or whatever it is. And, 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 and you're, you're at a threshold right now of a new beginning that is a better part, the better part of your life. Seven of Cups. Your future self is coming through to say, maybe you're watching this reading because right now you're very confused. You're like, okay, look, I am indecisive. I like all these things. I have, but I don't have the skills. What should I choose? Or I have all these skills, all this knowledge, all this talent. What should I invest in? Or uh, I feel lost. I really don't know what I like, what I want to do. There's a sense of confusion and fogginess and let's see more. The chariot, you don't know what to decide where to go. The number seven, twice, angel number 77. You want to make sure you get this right. And you will. Your future self is saying you will. You will get this right, okay? D disregard the confusion right now. Everything is as it's supposed to be right now. But your future self is saying also there's something you need to say goodbye to so that you can welcome in the new that is better, okay? If so, when in confusion, just know that there is something you need to say goodbye to to welcome something better. Now that may help you at least um, put some things aside out of these confusing or, or all these options here. Now look at this, I just noticed this little being for the first time He's fully illuminated. This is so funny. This is so interesting. It looks like it looks like a bodybuilder. That's that's so cute though. That is so cute. So maybe some of you are into bodybuilding or um, maybe you know someone or you've thought about getting into bodybuilding. That could be a sign for some of you either of a past or a future and that will help you make a choice so for a lot of you bodybuilding specifically is not going to mean anything but for some of you I'm sure it will and that is your answer for others of you there's something to do with exercise that has something to do with your future but again just take this if, if it resonates there will be more messages coming through I'm seeing all these lamps here, so you will get the clarity that you need and you will know the decision you need to make because this one is pointing forward. This chariot knows exactly where it's going and it's balanced out the yin and the yang and all the possibilities of pros and cons and knows exactly where it's going and that is you. You will know exactly where you need to go despite any confusion that may be going on right now. Temperance. You've been patient. Um, this has been a long time coming. This is, this will require patience. This is divine timing. You will know the decision to make once you've transmuted negative into positive energy. Once you have balanced out your shadow and your light. So if you have, let's say, too much of a shadow going on right now, there's still some light that needs to be worked on. For you to achieve this balance which temperance represents and that's Sagittarius energy again. The number 14 could be relevant 
1 plus 4 is a 5, so that's when change will happen is once you've balanced out your yin and your yang. Once you feel your energies within you balanced out, that's when you will know, that's when you will gain the clarity and know exactly which direction to take. So there is a need for you to work on really balancing out your energies and feeling at peace right now. Because that's also a sense, um, that is also a card about peace and and balance. For those of you uh, asking um, your, your future self, did I grow the long hair? Oh yes, you did. Yes, you did. You found the formula. Uh, something to do with essential oils. Um, I don't know if it's coconut oil. I don't know. But there's something you, you saw. There's like a, a, a scalp massage that will make your hair shinier, healthier, and longer, okay? It, it will grow a lot faster, too. Okay, that's just for someone. I don't know. Six of Wands. Yeah, there's a victory there. You will succeed. You will succeed and achieve whatever you set yourself out to achieve once you set the intention, once you've made the decision. You will be successful. You will make the right choice. There will be no confusion. And if there is confusion right now, it's meant to be exactly as it is. King of Pentacles, because once you make the decision, it will be a calculated risk. It will be solid. It will be healthy. It will be prosperous. It will be long lasting. It will be successful. Wow. It, 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 it will be wealthy, abundant, and very, very, very stable. Very, very, very stable. You're at, like at the top of your game. Maybe right now there's a lot of people in your ears telling you what you they think you should do. Which is... You're, it's like you're gaining um, information right now. You're probably researching, listening to people. To take your time to make the decision, because once you make this decision, it, build, it will be the right one. Okay, now let's look at your heart chakra, your love life, that kind of energy here. And it says, you deserve love. You are loved. Maybe this is something you struggle with believing. But I think with the archer here, again, Sagittarius energy, and again, this is about taking risks, long distance, um, depth in a spiritual journey, doing something outside of your comfort zone. Could you be worried that people would not accept you if you were to take a risk? Sorry, I had to sneeze. What I feel you need to say goodbye to is maybe thinking that you're not deserving of love, that you're not lovable, because you are. Your future self is coming through to say this very clearly, is that you've come to this understanding in the future. You do deserve love. You are lovable, and you will get proof of that. You will get proof of that. But you need to say goodbye to a mindset where you don't feel this, or you don't believe this. Or maybe... If you take a risk, you will not be loved. You will still be loved. If you make this change or leave something behind, you will not be loved. If you decide on a career path or the path that's right for you, you're, you will not be loved. Yes, you will. You will, and with Cupid's arrow here, I'm seeing Cupid's arrow, you will make... It's like you will not miss the mark when it comes to love, okay? We have the coffin. Now, please, again, I need to remind everyone, I do not see tragedies here on the channel, so this is not what this is, okay? Just disclaimer, first thing I want to say about this card. There's an ending here for you when it comes to how you see yourself, when it comes to romance in the scope of romantic connections, that will be ending. You're no longer going to see yourself as someone who is unworthy. You're going to leave that behind. And 
this is all a result of your growth and the things you're learning and how you're evolving spiritually. You're going to liberate yourself from the idea that you are not deserving of love. And you will substitute that idea for the knowledge and the knowing that you deserve love. You are lovable. And because of that, you're going to have a new beginning in love here. So right now you're going through that transition where possibly you're learning about self-love. And this will positively impact your career and your finances. And when it comes to your love life, an even better beginning, an ever, a be, better part of your love life is coming, is what I'm seeing here. Come, um, let's see, mid-December with the full moon in Cancer here. A personal issue will reach a resolution for you by mid-December. I feel by mid-December, and I'm seeing temperance there, that's December. Between July and December, you will come full circle. You're closing a chapter. You're ending some chapter in your life. Until then, you're, you will be transitioning through this energy. And you will be working on self-love. And you will be able to close a cycle of confusion that was connected to the fact where you thought you weren't deserving of love, appreciation, support. And you will feel a lot stronger. Okay, that's your reading. Option two, um, that's what your future self has to say to you. I hope this was helpful. It was a pleasure to read for everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome, option three. You guys chose Voyage or Voyage, 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 the, the 80s French song. So maybe there is a message in that song for you. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to look at the lyrics to see what's there. Um, because I feel there could be a message for you. Lyrics. Voyage, voyage. Au-dessus des vieux volcans, glissant des essos, le tapis du vent, voyage, voyage, éternellement, de nuages et marécages, de vent d'Espagne, plus d'Équateur. So Spain and the Equator. Voyage, voyage, vol dans les hauteurs. Let me just see this in. Voyage, voyage. Up above extinct volcanoes. Wings slipped under the carpet of the wind. Travel, travel. Voyage, voyage. Up above extinct volcanoes. So some of you are going to go visit an extinct volcano. Wings slipped under the carpet of the wind. Catching a plane from clouds. A wind from Spain and rain from the equator. So a lot of you are going to fly into new heights, travel a lot, uh, a lot of air travel above the capitals of fatal ideas, look to the ocean. You're going to rise above certain belief systems you currently hold, far beyond the night and the day. So you're going to transcend the mundane into the unfathomable space of love. I feel you're going to be surprised when it comes to love and your love life and what love life you can have. It's going to be a journey, voyage, voyage, on the sacred waters of an Indian river, for some of you, over the Ganges, Ganges uh, or the Amazon, among the black, among six, among the Asian. Journey into, the, into every realm. You're going to journey into every realm. The Saharan dunes, from the islands of Fiji to Fijiyama. Oh, wow. Travel, travel, don't ever stop. So a lot of you guys want to travel non-stop. Maybe you're going to take a child with you. Oh, that's so beautiful. Maybe you're really into, like, whales. I'm seeing sea travel, air travel, overseas. Oh, wow, far beyond the night and the day. You're going you're gonna to travel and see night and day at the same time somewhere into the unfathomable space of love. But I feel the biggest journey of them all. Some of you are going to have a child. And you're going to feel such 
unconditional love like you've never felt before, you're probably going to have a child with someone and you're going to feel that with that person besides the child. And it, it, your life is never going to be the same in a very, very positive way. You're going to know unconditional love is what this is saying. And I see a lot of travel here, but definitely uh, travel that you go and don't come back in terms of knowing unconditional love. This is so beautiful. I'm so glad I grabbed these lyrics. Is there more above the capitals? Yeah, and then it repeats. Oh, wow. I didn't know the lyrics of the song because even though I do know some French, I don't know maybe enough to have followed this song fully. Um, ascendant, outlook, worldview, mission statement, expression. Okay, this journey to the space of unconditional love is going to change the way you see the world. Your worldview will change also maybe because there is physical travel. And whether this is a journey through unconditional love, a journey through over the world with your child, however, your vision of the world will change. And as your vision of the world changes, so will your own mission statement in this lifetime. And, and if, you have a, um, if you have a company, maybe the mission statement of your company will also change. The way you express yourself, the way you dress, the way you want to affect the world, the world, the way you want to leave a mark on the world, the way you want to affect others, the role you want to have in this lifetime, your attitude, your outer self, the way you look, your image, your aura, your approach to life, your impact, the first impression you make will all change and in a very beautiful way. Look at all those bright colors compared and contrasting this is when you start the journey, and this is after the journey. Life in Technicolor, even better than that. Life in like, life is going to become so much more vibrant for you. It's the key. It's the key to, to the life that you want. After you travel or after you experience this unconditional love, walk away. You're going to walk away from something. You're going to leave some kind of unhealthy situation behind. And, and as you do that, you will enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So there's advice coming through from your future self. There's an unhealthy situation that you need to walk away from. And if you do, if you do, new doors will open as a result. And if you hold on to that, you won't experience all this beauty. All this love. The Emperor. Aries energy. Yeah, I mean, you could be a business owner. You could be a little bit stubborn, set in your ways. But also very driven, very passionate, and very focused. Methodical. But there's lightning behind this person. So I'm feeling there's going to be some kind of event or epiphany out of the blue that is very surprising that is going to help you leave an unhealthy situation. Or maybe you're dealing with someone who is unhealthy for you and you're going to walk away from that person. Or maybe some very stubborn person you know is dealing with an unhealthy situation and they will have an epiphany and move out of that unhealthy situation. Take what resonates here. Five of Cups. The reason why there's stubbornness here, whether it's your end or someone else's end, is because there's a fear of sadness. And there will be some sadness. Every time we leave something, even if it's unhealthy, it can make us sad. There's always a loss. Knight of Pentacles. But it's also to set us in a direction that is healthier because pentacles to me represent health and stable and more prosperous and long lasting. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. The reason why you move too slow. Okay, so th that's for those of you who think, why are things happening quicker? Your future self is saying the reason why things aren't happening quicker is because you're moving slow and you're moving slow because of a stubbornness that's there or because you're too focused on the things that you can lose rather than the things you can gain and you're too focused on the sadness 
you're not focused on the positives and this holds you back. Or this could be someone you're dealing with. Judgment. Your future self is telling you it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a big life-changing decision that will shift your reality and give you a second chance at life. Whatever that means for you. And it could be a second chance at fully experiencing unconditional love or being able to see the world. Whatever. Two of ones. But if you're having a hard time and you're not ready to move right now, you can always at least start uh, coming up with a plan. Um, that will be the first step for you to move away from the fear and what's holding you back. So there needs to be a first step into making this decision, but there needs to be a plan and weighing the pros and cons right now, which is probably what you're already doing. Let's look at your love life, your heart space, and what energy is coming through. Okay, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are going to get engaged. Possibly as, as you leave an unhealthy situation, new doors to get engaged will open as a result to a higher level commitment. Someone who will be your divine counterpart with the emperor here. Photograph. Looking at your photos. Missing you nostalgia, making new memories. Okay, so here's what I feel. Someone who is currently looking at your photographs or missing you or both. Someone who is nostalgic about you wants to make new memories with you. And they may ask you to marry them. Or may want to marry you. Okay. Ooh. You're going to be making new memories here. Right now your future self is telling you that it's a time for healing. And there's a need to heal, especially what is causing you to be holding yourself back. There's a need for you to heal. Maybe some some sadness or the fact that you tend to focus on the negative rather than the positive because there's actually a lot to look forward to that is healthy stable prosperous and 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 long lasting but if you're keeping yourself stuck because of sadness or a loss or focusing on the negatives then there's a need for you to heal that right now. It could be that you're nostalgic about a past that no longer exists and you're sad. Crying over spilt milk for some of you, okay? If you know you had some kind of, or maybe someone is, okay? If you or someone knows, knew or knew that you or someone had something to do with why things didn't work out, it's really no one's fault. Um, and there's a need for you to heal any feeling of guilt associated to this, okay? Someone here is feeling guilty about walking away from an unhealthy situation. But you need to heal that side of yourself. Why do you feel guilty to leave an unhealthy situation? That's the first question you need to ask yourself. And you know, I don't normally suggest therapy in, in my videos, but you you may want to... Talk to someone who would help you with this one question and go with this one question and say, why am I feeling so guilty of leaving a situation that is unhealthy for me? And if you start there, I feel there's a lot to unpack and a lot to heal. Because after you are able to answer this question, I feel you will, you will free yourself and you will start heading in a new direction and making better decisions for yourself and that's when you will unlock the ability to plan further. Okay? Um, that is actually a question you could ask me in a reading. I'm, now I'm coming to think of this. What, why am I feeling guilty 
holding on to this unhealthy situation. That may come out in a reading as well, actually. So whatever you choose to, however you choose to tackle this, it could be with therapy, it could be with a reading, it could be both. Um, or you could just research and, and get come to your own conclusions. Maybe, maybe someone says something to you and you get your answer. Wh however way you do this, there's a need to heal and ask yourself, why are you feeling guilty about leaving a toxic situation? It's possibly, it could be because of the fact that you somehow did contributed to the toxicity and the and the the lack of health in that situation because maybe you weren't healed and maybe that situation was there to teach you a lesson for you to grow and maybe you've outgrown that so that's one thing i'm already seeing here but wow okay pile three that was your reading that is all that's coming through right now um let me know how that resonates for you. It was a pleasure to read for everyone. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye.